Hello, my name is Steven and I will be talking today about my work with performing Wi-Fi sensing with off-the-shelf smartphone devices. First, we'll look at the background. What is device-free Wi-Fi sensing? Device-free sensing will typically use radio signals as an indicator of some properties within the environment. So, given a transmitter radio and a receiver radio, the signal received is affected directly by attributes of the environment, such as uh, multipath, uh, as well as any movement in the environment. The key achievement of such a system is that the movement of a target can be recognized without requiring sensors attached to this target. And this, this makes the sensing system much less intrusive to the individual. Such sensing systems typically use channel state information. So what is channel state information? At the most basic level, CSI describes phase and amplitude of the received signal across a number of channels or subcarrier frequencies. Each subcarrier frequency is affected slightly differently in an environment. So typically we will see something like 64 subcarrier frequencies used. For our work, we develop a system for collecting CSI onto an off-the-shelf smartphone device for use in Wi-Fi sensing and localization. As shown in the graph, a transmitter TX sends packets to a receiver RX. The signal is affected by the presence of a target in the target area between the TX and RX. The raw CSI is then directly sent to a smartphone for recording, signal processing, and potentially even machine learning. I will note that existing systems for extracting channel state information require PCI Express buses, which are only available on your laptops and computers. Thus, it is not possible with those systems to collect and process CSI directly from a smartphone. So here we can see our system in action. We have a transmitter radio at the bottom which communicates to a receiver. The receiver then shares the CSI to the smartphone and the smartphone then displays a real-time CSI heat map of that. If we zoom in we can see some controls and metrics which let us know how our experiment is going. I've performed a number of different experiments to demonstrate how the system can be used. Please take a look at our demo paper for more information on these. Uh, but for now, let's look at one of the more interesting use cases of the tool. As I stated, existing CSI hardware requires a full laptop or desktop computer to collect data. This can be a hindrance to certain methods of recording data. Specifically, I'm most interested in recording CSI from a mobile receiver. So as we can see in the diagram on the left, there's a static transmitter in the center, a static target, uh, but the receiver moves around the target area at some distance away from the TX. So the resulting CSI heat map shown on the right shows that the target causes some spikes in the received channel state information around the 225 degree mark, indicating that there's a target somewhere around here, which makes sense based on uh, the image on the left. This is interesting because typically both TX and RX are always assumed to be static within existing literature. In my opinion, there are a number of very interesting questions yet to be solved with the addition of this mobility into the mix. So if you're interested in learning more about the tool and giving it a try for either Wi-Fi sensing, localization, or some other task, I've published the code to my GitHub account. If there are any questions, please feel free to email me. Also, please take a look at the toolkit that I've developed. I'm excited to see what can be built around the tool. Thank you.